What's up everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're going to be speaking about the 1960 Franklin Half Dollar. Now there's a lot of these out there, but they're all worth 90% silver, so that's good news. But some of them are worth more money because of a variety, which makes it a lot more appealing to collectors. It's a little rarer, it's kind of a problem that happened at the Mint, to be frank. Um, and we're going to be explaining where on these coins to look for it, as well as... So I'll show you that on this coin, and then after that we'll go to a PowerPoint presentation. Um, where I have some clear photos of the variety along with values based off of what condition it is or how much war wear has um, happened to the coin. So let's get right into it. And here we've got our 1960 Franklin half dollar and we're going to be zeroing in on the date 1960 as well as the trust lettering. Um, because there's going to be a double die obverse. It's a lesser known variety, so I'm happy to be able to talk about it today, but it's one that you want to know about and certainly be on the lookout for. So I'll show you some clear photos in the next segment in a PowerPoint and get into the values. And here we've got the 1960 double die obverse, and this photo, I have to say, um, it's not super, super clear on the delineation, but you're going to be looking for sort of in the bottom halves of the, or the bottom parts of the tops of the trust, so sort of like in the curve in the R uh, below the S and the T, um, though you can see a little bit um, as well in sort of the uh, the 9 um, a little bit of a spread in the 6, but it's pretty faint here, um, so just as a heads up, you know, it depends what die state the doubling is going to be found in. Um, but there's not a huge amount of price history. I sort of went off of some of the similar comparable coins. Um, I'd say that's probably going to double or slightly under double the value of whatever coins you've got. So in AU55 maybe turns a $10 coin into a $25 one. Mint State 63 going to move from about, uh, you know, 20 bucks to a $50 coin, and then 90 with full bands, or full bell lines, excuse me, and then 100 bucks in Mint State 65, um, up from like 50 uh, in without the full bell lines, and then with them about 250 bucks um, compared to maybe 150. So that's what we've got there. Nothing super, super wild, only recognized by uh, NGC so and Kaneka, but it's not part of the uh, Cherry Pickers Guide or the FIVA Stanton listing. So if it did gain that attribution, a lot more popularity would come along, which could be good. But on the other hand, sort of the time is now to go out and hunt these, even if it's uh, already holdered coins. It's just a good idea to take a closer look and see what you can come away with. Thanks for watching the video. I'd encourage you to like the video, comment, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I also have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and some other social media platforms. You can also go to my main channel website, treasuretownyt.com, to learn more about the channel and sort of stay in contact. I also will eventually host all of these videos on coinsmetalscards.com, which will be both news, marketplace, and coin information. I do have the goal of eventually getting pretty much every U.S coin, date, mint mark, denomination on the channel with a similar video to the one that you just watched, and that will likely all be hosted there. Uh, and then I also have treasuretowncoins.com, which is sort of my coin dealing wing, coin dealing only entity that is a little bit less focused on content production. So thank you so much, and I'll look forward to seeing you on some of my other videos. I also have videos that are not just the date uh, mint mark denomination recap in this format, uh, so you can check some of those out, and I'll, yeah, have fun seeing you there.